Good morning, modern steaders. Oh, I'm loving these nice, brisk mornings, but it's reminding me winter's coming shortly. And we need to get firewood stacked, and we need to get a place to store up firewood, guys. Oh, good morning, pigs. Those chickens are noisy this morning. You hear them, guys? We're gonna move you later today, pigs. Morning, girls. Good, get in there, buttercup. You used to eat on the other side, huh? All the goats used to eat on that side until I extended this side of the feeder. Now most of them stay over here. Good morning, good morning, this morning. That's one of the things of living in northern New Hampshire. It seems like it's either winter or winter's on your mind and you got a plan for it. We always want to make sure we have good dry firewood and enough of it. Especially the last two winters we've had, whew, they've been long and snowy. Last winter we had almost six months of snow, or snow on the ground. It was, it was extreme. Where you live, does it feel like you're always planning for something and having to think ahead for some season or another? I'm sure in the Hutter climates it might be the Hutter weather. I'm not sure. We, have, we haven't had to deal with that. Thank you, Willow. Thank you. You kiddos want to come out? Magnolia's like, yep. Traffic jam. Oh, I see old CWC. You see her? She's been liking to hang out at New York City lately, and not with the pigs. You guys are going to be graduating to NYC pretty soon. Morning, CWC. Morning, Moose. I see Figaro way down there on the rock wall. Now my question is, where's Tanner? There you are. I figured if Figaro was around, you were somewhere near him. Huh? Did he lose you? Yep, he's up on the rock wall. Come on, to the house. Gina got all the board and battens cut to length that we need. So now I want to figure out a jig system that we can make for spacing, so when we're putting them up, we get the same even spacing all the way across. There you go. Actually, hold that up. I gotta move this trailer right out. out. All right, so let's get this top one. On and I'll get it plumb. Oops. Right there. Okay. Just put a nail in a nail. Oh, I want to see. It's level. That is perfectly level. Oh my gosh. I feel scared today. So they are two inches wide. So nine and three quarters. So eight and three quarters should do it. All right, let me go cut two pieces at eight and three quarters.
Yep. Perfect. Just put one up. Then come down here. Do these two. One, two. What if it hits a nail? All hammered in. And then just put it down here and do that. And then this one, you're a little high. Come down. You want to be down lower so you're into that two by. Right here? Yep. Come back and we'll do the window under the windows after. Go. One inch. That's center. Right, we need the transom window trim work now. So I need 103, 96, 12, and 10, 12, 103. So that should be 103, 48, 12. 103, 96, 12. And I'll go grab the transom window and take off the plastic. Make sure the glazing, the silicone, goes out. Check the rough opening. Just over 12 by 96. Actually, is this 12 and a 16? Yeah, 12 and a 16. Oh, perfect. We got it. I like it. This is gonna look so nice from the outside. Boom, I like it. I'll raise it up a little bit and center it. It's gonna look so nice. Uh, I think we're gonna take it out and clean it first. We need to get all the man glitter off the window. I got all the man glitter off for you. Let's make a couple of strips. We're gonna raise the window up three eighths of an inch on the bottom. That way it sits centered in that hole. Center, guide. There we go. So good. Awesome. Let's set our strips in place. Glaze on the outside. Well, it needs to go like this. There we go. Perfect. 
center it that way. I like that. That's gonna look good. Board it. Boom. Right now when we've been doing the batten strips, we've been able to nail, or there's a nailer, so we can use the nails. But here, we don't have a two by. We have a two by down there, but not up high. If I use the nails, they would go through the side and then stick through like a half inch. So I picked up some short finish screws. So we'll screw them up high and nail them down low. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on them too. Don't know if I need the wood glue, but we were not putting a big head on them. I figured the wood glue can't hurt. I like it. Let me see if any of these are what we need. We're gonna have one. So we're gonna have, so one, two, three. So one, one, two, three. I feel like we got extras. We do. Well, no, because that goes past. Oh, okay. So I think that's gonna go like this then. No, why? Because on this one goes on the angle right on the outside of it. We'll get up there and we'll figure it out. All right. Leave the line here. I want you to leave the line on the board. Yeah, that's perfect. Like that. I like that. Oh, thank you. What's that? Uh, I will, but not right this second. I didn't get it figured out yet. You were too fast. I like that right there. Try 
trade you this one. Thank you. What's that? Yeah, I'm ready for that one. Thank you. Trade you. I got that little piece in there. Thank you. It's the top mark above the X. What's that? I think that's all I have left. Do you need I think one? that's it. What about those that little tiny, teeny piece up there? I don't know if we need to fill those in or not. Want to take off it a saw? Shows it in the picture, but we don't have anything. You want to just take that a saw blade off? The thickness of a saw blade. Remove that line. I thought that you liked the line. This one's too much. <sighs> all right, this one will go there. Level it off. Thank you. Perfect. I like it. We'll head on down to the side. Two of them cut with a 34 degree angle on them. All these little tiny pieces really finish it off. There we go. That just gives it the finishing touch. Said right on the money, honey. Summer snow, when it falls on you, your blood runs cold. But don't you sweat your pretty skin? Want to give me a hand for a minute and snap a line? I gotta trim off 
this one board is longer than the others. And before we do these strips, About my pencil. I like it. Just gonna trim out the door and put some batten strips above the door and we'll be good. What are you guys doing? The pigs love napping under the ramp. It provides nice shade for them. You can see how much they got it matted down. What are you doing? Are you checking out and see what Al's doing? He's moving the buddies. It's just us collecting eggs today. Olivia's still off at camp. Hey, CWC. You're not gonna go get some food? Well, hello there. Look at all these eggs. Two. Four, six, eight, nine. How many are you hiding? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. 18, 19. Oh, Olivia would be so excited. I'll leave you alone now. Well, it's nice that the barn is finally starting to take shape and look like the building I had visioned in my head. I love seeing the windows in it, the batten boards up. Tomorrow we're going to start working on the trim work and then we're going to be building some custom doors, wood doors this time. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait till that happens. It's been a blast having Gina be able to help me. It's very exciting today to be able to move the pigs for the second time. We moved them because they were in the spot where they were in for two to three weeks. I can't remember now. And that's long enough in one area because we don't want to leave them in one spot too long because then it's the... Um, bugs are going to start building up like worms and stuff like that so we want to make sure we move them so the pigs stay happy and healthy and that we can get them disturbing our fields so we can replant them and get that pasture growing nice again i read a good quote today that 
is so true. If you think you're too small to make an impact, try sleeping with a mosquito. Man, when the mosquitoes come out or one little pesky bug won't leave you alone, that is so annoying. Just think about how much impact we can make if we just change our mind shift and just start doing something little every day. It'd make a huge difference in our life. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. We truly appreciate that you take your time out of your day to watch our videos. So thanks again, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.